Okay, let's begin. I want you to find a comfortable position and start focusing on your breathing. And as you're breathing, find your spine, find your center in the body and give it strength to the center of the body. In martial arts, the instructor always tells you the core. Within the core, magic happens. So focus on your breathing, focus on the spine as you are breathing and just give it a mental awareness of the center of your body. That's good. All right, so keep, keep focusing on your breathing and I want you to focus on one part of the body that is hurting and just describe to me the way it feels. It's just throbbing pain. Can you describe where it is first? It's on the top and back side, both sides of my shoulders. Okay, from what? And I want you to focus on one part of the body that is hurting and just describe to me the way it feels. It's just throbbing pain. Can you describe where it is first? It's on the top and back side, both sides of my shoulders. Okay, from one to 10, how much is it bothering you? 10. Okay. All right, so let's just, uh, so there's a level of stagnation. So let's just break down the stagnation on that side of the body. So I want you to Take a deep breath and hold your breath for just a few seconds. Start noticing the tension with the breath and breathe in a little more. Feel the tension and then just release and bring blood flow into the body, circulation into the body. And now focus, focus on the pain. Is it still a number 10? No. Okay, what number is it? I'd say eight. Eight, okay. So is it the same throbbing? Just like throbbing still? No, the top here is still feels like, <laughs> like a steel rod up here, you know? Mm -hmm. but, um, I do know it's better. It's not throbbing so much. Okay, so I want you to think about how it has made you feel the last few months. Just thinking about it, feeling the pain, feeling the emotional pain as well. What, what kind of emotion shows up when you think about emotional pain? Is it anger? Is it frustration? Hopeless? What is it? I hate pain. Um, mm -hmm. I grew up with my mother's body racked with pain and that's all i ever heard about okay so i want you to open up all those files on dealing with pain from the place of family from your parents to to uh, the family dynamic pain physical pain turning into emotional pain and the pattern just keeps repeating itself so let's just break the loop effect any kind of psychological issues, any kind of traumas, just break it into pieces like a glass that breaks and it shatters. Take another deep breath, breathe into your spine and then just uh, neutralizing your energy so that you are emotionally and mentally stable when it comes to the pain. So getting rid of any physical pain via the mind and the emotion 30 percent is physical 70 percent is psychosomatic so we're cleaning up your fields first go back to the pain and notice what you feel well it's reduced even more okay think about pain and family it doesn't feel doesn't have as much a charge on it. Okay. 
So let's just bring in the um, the higher. Let's just call it the higher power. It doesn't have to be. We, we don't. We don't have to rationalize it. Let's just. Let's just even tap into the five elements. So in your case, let's just bring in the water element and start to soothe and cleanse uh, any part in the body that feels hot and warm. Which it does. Then, yeah. So in other words. Uh, inflamed mm -hmm. cleansing the entire in this case it's almost like giving you a uh, rebirthing effect cleansing the uh, the psychological body the mental body the spiritual body and then we tap into the physical body cleansing the entire physical body bringing circulation into the body blood flow chi take another deep breath tap into your spine and check the, the pain level. I just feel like I want to flex. <laughs> okay, so you can just move around. Yes. So obviously there's some movement there <laughs> and it feels a lot better. Okay. Not completely gone, but... Okay, so from one to 10, Four. What number? Okay, four. Okay, so for number four. All right, so um, focus on whatever is left. And think about carrying someone else's responsibility. Think about one or two or three or four. And just make notice how it makes you feel when you have to take someone else's stuff. And what emotion shows up. Feels like victim energy for one, but um, mm. but also you get overstimulated. Yes. So hearing them out, voices. So I want you to tap into the sounds, and let's just begin to disconnect your sensory. It's almost as if you unplugged yourself from the from the wall of the Wi-Fi. You know the five Wi uh, five. Um, unplugging yourself from the Wi-Fi device. device. Touch me outside sound, especially sound. Just turn it off. Turn the sensory off. Touch me outside sound. Motion, turn them off. Turn your sensory system off completely for a few more seconds. Take a deep breath. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. At the same time, we are going to reset and restart your sensory. Touch me outside sound motion. So allow sounds visuals, smell, all your sensory be completely working with your physical body and your physical body work with your sensory. Now check your shoulders. Mm. Okay, so let's just focus on the right arm. And thoughts that just travel around just not not uh, serving you any good any any excessive thoughts that you can think of place them on an imaginary table thoughts turn into papers or documents scrolls diaries so turn all your all your all those thoughts into something physical and tangible so imagine that your table is getting full of all thoughts that you just don't need. They just, they are traveling around, floating around, just doing nothing, causing more trouble than good. So just imagine that you have all those uh, thoughts in place. Look at them, shred them, toss them away. Take a deep breath, breathe into your spine and bring neutrality into the mind. The right side of the arm represents uh, the mental, the mental side. The mind with uh, the then now tap into the left arm. The left arm is the the um, the intuitive side. So tap into the the left side. So let's let's connect the left shoulder to the right and the right to the left, the right to the left, left to the right. And now the both arms represent the wings of the heart. So allow the heart to speak fully to a hundred percent. At the same time, allowing the mind, the rational thinker, 
within yourself to be productive, not reactive. So to, let's just shift from reactive to productive. Okay, shake the right, shake the right arm. It hurts to do that. All right, so let's see. Immune, strong, okay, it's lymphatic system, so it's just strong. The organs, glands, bones, muscle, so muscle spasms. So let's just collect all level of muscle spasms in the body. From the left side of the body to the right, right to the left, from the front to the back, back to the front, major muscles, small muscles. Let's just break down any kind of muscle spasm. So I just go from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 percent. Take a huge Buddha breath. Breathe into your spine, find your center. Allow yourself to be connected to your body. Open heart, open mind. Letting your body guide you so that you can connect and so the body can function to its the, the best of its ability. Work body, physical body, working with the non-physical energies. Now, whenever you're ready, just open up your eyes. And I want you to uh, just tell the audience what you have experienced. What do you notice? What can you... How can you express what you have uh, exp uh, experienced? Well, I feel heaviness gone. Like I said, just even physically in the muscles, the lightness, like they've let go. Um, I feel a lightness in my being. I feel relief. <laughs> it does, it feels like it's unreal that in just, we're not even in the same place and just uh, in a matter of minutes, I can be moved from a place of what used to feel like a straight jacket to where I have wings, you know? So. I always believe that it's not always physical. Right. It always starts in the mind, in the emotion, the spirit, your sensory. So I think that by opening the filters, by cleaning up the coffee maker filter, put a new one, then you can process information much better. But I think that yeah. The overall picture, uh, aside from the wear and tear, right? right. It's the 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 signals were off. Oh. So I resetted your antenna so the, that you are more open to seeing, hearing, smelling, right? The, your sensory, the mind being active versus react reactive. Yeah, I like when you said that. Yeah. Yeah, and the mood, and in the mood, allowing yourself to to feel stable, regardless. Well, I realize right now my spine feels nice and straight. I, yesterday I realized that if I was hunched over like this and my arms were hanging, I felt no pain. But now to be able to, all I had to do yesterday was go back like this and it all set in again and it's not there. So shoulders back, back straight. I mean, this is wonderful. Okay. So we'll we'll uh, we'll check in and see the how you're progressing. It's uh, I I was hoping to do fifty percent, but I think that we did more than fifty percent. Yeah, I my muscles so, are now, so obviously they will let go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just uh, keep me posted, and uh, till then, Thank let's you. keep making magic and. Thank Let's you. keep helping other people out there who are struggling, who don't feel a way out. I know. And every one of us has the magic in us. Yeah. All I do is just understand and respect the magic of energy and I use it yes. respectively, Absolutely. utilizing what nature has to offer. Right. So if you have an open mind, open heart, you can, all, all the possibilities are endless. So I leave you with that. So <laughs> peace, love and light. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm.